Hi, I've got this piece I am trying to finish up and I thought I'd just turn on the camera and stitch and chat for a little bit and let you in on my thought process on it, which is, I don't know what it's going to be. This started off, this was a piece of felt and I stitched some lace and some other scraps of fabric on it and then I painted it with some fabric paint so it's still very nice and soft to stitch through and I was thinking it was going to be a journal cover which it still could be but it could also get stitched up like this and become a vessel I don't know now one thing I did is I didn't pay attention when I was painting to cover all the edges so there's like little bits of red coming through not that that's a big deal but it's there and I just, I'm not really sure, I kind of, I want to be done with this. I'm kind of on a finish mode. So I'm just going to come in, let's see, where do we want to go here? I think I'm going to come into this dark spot over here. And I'm just going to fill it in with a bunch of knots. But you let me know, do you think it should be a journal cover or a vessel? Maybe if it's a journal cover, maybe I'll just put it in the shop as it is. And people, someone could decide what they want to do with it. It could be either a cover or a vessel on their own. I don't know. But I thought, you know, I hadn't been doing videos for a while. I'm missing doing videos. I'm missing letting you guys know what I'm thinking. And what I'm thinking is I need to quit trying so hard. And by trying so hard, I mean trying to do all the things. And I talked about that in another video recently. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm starting to embrace the idea that doing less is really doing more. Because doing less is doing more for my mental health and if I feel more mentally healthy then I can do more for the people in my life and right now the people in my life are my husband um, right I, as people in my life would be the ones that I interact with all the time it's not that I don't love the rest of my family but the ones that I interact with all the time is my husband and the people in my community and you guys are my community and my Facebook group is my community and my monthly zooms are my community so um, <sighs> I don't know. Quit trying so hard, Susan. I think that's that's the conclusion I came to and go back to my goal a couple years ago before I started working with uh, the coach. I guess he wouldn't call himself a coach. He'd probably call himself a mentor. But I started working with Lennon Bone. And the idea was to, well, his idea is that artists don't know their worth. And by worth, he doesn't necessarily mean monetary although he does want to help people, you know, monetize their work, but that we don't value ourselves enough. And I know that's been the case for me. A lot of it has been because of past experiences where I have not been valued, whether it was in relationships or jobs I've had or, you know, whatever, or just, you know, good old self-esteem that we carry with us forever and ever in a day or lack of. And so, uh, you know... How old do you have to be before you finally start believing in your own value? Yeah, Zoe's agreeing with me back there. You know, it's time. If, if not now, then when? My mom was here visiting recently, and she's going to be 86 years old next month, which tells me, you know, hey, if I get to live to be as long as she is, I've got another, what, 22 years. I'm 64. Do the math, Susan. 22 years. Do I want to spend 22 years thinking I'm still not good enough? Good enough for what? What do I have to be good enough for? I have to be good enough to be healthy. I have to be good enough to not cause harm to anybody else. I have to be good enough to be happy. I mean, really, that is my ultimate goal in life is to be happy. Because let me tell you, I spent a lot of years in my younger years not happy. A lot of years being allowing myself to be a doormat to the people in my life and I'm not a doormat anymore but I maintain the mindset and that's not good <laughs> why do I still think I'm not good enough when I have people around me telling me that I am so I guess I wanted to come on and just stitch for a few minutes and say hey if you're somebody that's carrying an ancient mindset that is no longer valid like I am let's toss it to the curb let's say to heck with it somebody looks at your work and they say okay well that's great you spent the last three months making this XYZ thing what are you gonna do with it 
Who cares? Who cares? It's none of their business what you're going to do with it. Maybe you just maybe you got a big old pile in the garage of I don't know what I'm going to do with it stuff. And that's okay. I'm going to have a big old pile of I don't know what I'm going to do with it stuff. And that's okay. And if you're somebody like me, somebody who always doubts, somebody who always wonders if there couldn't be something more, let me tell you right now, who you are is enough. What you're making is enough. What you do with your days is enough. As long as you are not causing harm to somebody else, maybe you are inspiring somebody else. Maybe you are helping somebody else be brave enough to share. You know how scary it is to share? I could come on here. I could bring anything I have ever made on here and probably show you five to ten to more things that are wrong with it according to any rules that you want to follow. But you know what? As soon as I did that, I bet you there would be bunches of you in the background <laughs> telling me how the things that were right. So how about if we stop thinking about all the things we didn't do, all the baggage we're carrying that isn't us anymore, all the stuff we think we've done wrong, how about if we just kick it to the side of the road and we start believing that we're already awesome just by being us. Already awesome. What a concept. I will if you will. <laughs>